Hello and welcome to this video tutorial on creating 2D plan drawings from a massing model in Rhino. We're going to be following on from the previous video on setting up site information and site models in Rhino and I'm working with a 3D site model here and also a 2D layout drawing of our particular site. Now I've copied this site over onto the right hand side as well and this is going to be for our 2D drawing on the right hand side and we're going to keep all our 3D models on the left hand side here. I've also put this green data mark in the top corner which is aligned to both of our drawings so if I want to copy something into the same place into our other drawing I can use the datum point to assure that it copies in exactly the same point. Now I've made a blue model here which represents my massing model that we're going to be taking plan cuts from and making into a series of floor plans from this model. Now in order to do this we first need to work out how many floors we have in our particular model. Now you may have done that while you're doing your massing study so you already know that answer but if not we can always just measure it using the line tool just going from top to bottom and noting the measurement down here. So that's coming in at around 30 meters tall. So what we can do there is we can then divide that to give us our floor heights and a typical sort of floor to floor height in a building might be about three meters. So if we use the divide function, just typing in divide and divide it by 10, there, it will split that into our floors there. And what I usually do is I'll take those levels once made, making sure I'm not selecting any additional lines behind it. And I'm just gonna move those over here and out of the way our floor levels there. Um, what I might sometimes do as well just to make it clear so we can see it from further away is just copy a line onto these points as well so it's very obvious exactly where these floor levels are moving forward. So now we've made our levels what we want to do is we want to take plan cuts at each of these levels to give us our floor plans. To do that we're going to be using clipping planes and I've already set up this layer here within which I've got a uh, level or a layer sorry for each of the floor levels on my plan and what we're going to do is we're going to create a clipping plane in each of these layers which we can turn on and off depending on which plan we want to cut at which point. Now at the moment I've got my floor levels but I actually want my plans to be cut in the midpoint between each floor so we're going to actually just take these points here and copy them upwards from half this distance to give us a midpoint. So 1520 be half, enter there. And now we have our kind of midpoint for each of our clipping planes. Now, in order to create our clipping plane, we're going to go to the top view because this is the view that we want to create our plans in. And just type in clipping plane and just draw out a square to define this over our model. And you see, when you do that, it will immediately take a cut. From whatever level it's set at. Now we want to make sure this is set at the correct levels on our floor plans so I'm going to go back to here and go to the right view and just use this view and just use the move tool to snap this clipping plane onto the first level there. And what I'm going to do once that's in position we're going to go to the properties, go to the object and we're going to put it on the correct layer. Floor zero there. What I'm also going to do to this is I'm actually going to turn this clipping plane off so it's currently not working because what we want is we want to create these clipping planes in position but we want to make sure they're not actually cutting until we tell them to so we can turn on each one at a time and create our floor plans. So from this point I'm just going to copy up these clipping planes on each level and put them on their correct layers as well. So now that's done I've copied my clipping plane up so we've got one on each floor and they're also now all on their own layers so we can kind of turn them on or off depending on when we want to use them. For now I'm going to turn them all off apart from our floor zero which we're going to keep on for the time being and I'm going to go back to my top view to see that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go through our clipping planes and we're going to make 2D drawings of a cut at each floor. So I'm going to select my floor zero, select my clipping plane so it might be a bit farther away from the object but that's fine it doesn't matter where it is it will still cut in relation to it and with it selected we can go back to the properties and we can turn it on in the top view and you'll see there when we turn that on it starts to cut our model at that level 
what we can do there is we can then do a make 2D of this drawing which will be our first floor plan at ground, zero, ground floor or level zero. What I'm going to do when I take this make 2D is I'm actually going to turn off these sight lines because we already have them as a base on our 2D drawing over on the right hand side there. So I'm just going to go to the layers and we're just going to turn off our sight line work there for now. What you might want to make sure actually is we do want to keep this guideline in and I'm actually going to move my guideline folder so it's not in that site folder it's in my 2D line work folder instead so when we turn off the site the guideline can stay on and just make sure that it's in the right folder there so with our guideline on our site line turned off and our massing turned on with the clipping plane on as well we can then select all of that geometry do make 2D from there. Maintaining the source layers just in case you want to kind of keep that moving forward. I will usually keep that on just in case. Do the make 2D. And once that's made, I usually just move it out of the way. There. So that's our first plan. And what I'm then going to do is I'm just going to turn off, go back to the first floor, select the clipping plane first and make sure it's turned off. And we're just going to do the same for the next one and I'm basically just going to work my way up these floors turning on the clipping plane each time and doing the make 2D to get the floor plan cut and what this would give us is would give us our base of our 2D plan for each of these floors and once you've set this up the setup is kind of a long process on this but once you've got it set up it's then very easy to kind of go back work on your model more and then you can go back and take a plan again it's very easy to go back and forth between that process, taking cuts whenever you need to. So I'm going to pause the video and just do a cut for each of these. Now for the purpose of this exercise, I've just done this for my ground floor. We've done it for the fourth floor there, and I've also done it for my ninth floor as well. And what you'll find is once you've done a Make 2D, you get this series of Make 2D lines. And usually they're split up into curves and also clipping plane lines, you'll see there. So we've got a mixture of lines in the curves and lines which are clipping planes. So what we can do with that is we can use it to separate out our section lines and our elevation lines from our model. Now, as I've set up, shown before in previous videos, I've actually already set up a series of line weights here for my site layers. And we're actually going to set up two or three new folders in this case, one for the ground floor, fourth floor and ninth floor, which we have here. And we're going to apply all these layers to each of those floors as well. So to start doing that, we're going to start by just making a new layer. I'm going to call this ground floor. Then we're going to select our layers which we previously made for the site. And because we want to keep all these line weights and all these layer names within our ground floor, we're just going to right click and duplicate layer. Make sure not to select duplicate layer and objects because it will also copy all the lines that are already in those layers. And we just want the layers but not the lines that are in them for now. Duplicate layer and then we'll just click and drag these and just drop them into the ground floor folder there. And there you'll see the ground floor now has all those series of layers set up with the line weights set up as well. So we don't have to go and reset the line weights for this particular floor. And I'm gonna do the same thing for the fourth floor and the ninth floor there as well. So now we have our ground floor with our layers in, we have our fourth floor and our ninth floor all set up and ready to go. So now we've set those up, we can actually start to switch our Make 2D layers that we brought in onto their correct layers so they have a set line weight already assigned to them. I'm just going to turn these on so we can see it here. To do that we can just go to the Make 2D. Um, we'll start with the sectional one, so if we go Curves and 3D Model, and you could just select the objects within each of these. So we can select the context first. And because I want to do this via the level and not all at the same time, I'm going to deselect the ones I don't want, so the ones not on the ground floor. And we'll just do the ground floor first. Let's go to properties, and then we'll just switch the layer over to my ground floor section thick. There, and you can see the colors change, so we know that's switched over as well. And I'm actually going to do the same for my proposed massing as well and we'll just switch that on. It might be that you want to keep a separate layer for the proposed and the context. For this 
point, I'm just going to put them on the same layer so they share the same line weight for now. And I'm going to do the same thing for the rest of my layers here. You'll find as I go up the buildings, we'll start to get some in elevation as well. So I'll show you that too. So now we've finished setting that up, you can see that we've got our section lines for our ground floor, which everything is being cut because we're at the lower level. And as we move up, you can see some parts of the building aren't being cut anymore. They're then now in elevation because they're lower down, so not in the section line. And as we get to the top, it's only the taller buildings around the site that are still being cut by the section line and everything else is in elevation. So it's effectively helped split up our plan drawings. And this is potentially the basis for our drawings from this point onwards. What we can do now, if we've set these up, is we can select each of these. And I'm going to just deselect this kind of green frame because we don't need that for the time being. But we can move it using the datum point here as a guide and snap it onto our plan there. And I'm just going to do that for each of our plans. Charge complete. Adding on to the guide there. So you're effectively stacking them one on top of the other. And because we've set them up all in their same levels, we don't have to worry about them overlapping. So we can kind of turn each of them on at each stage. And now I'll put the site back on. And you'll see they'll probably overlap with one another for now. But what we can do moving forward is you, we can turn off, hide different things using hatches and work into the drawing. What we've got now is we've got a really good base to start building up our plan drawing from. So we've got our ground floor, where it's cut on our floor level, and then we've got the fourth floor and ninth floor moving up. So thank you for watching this video. That was a quick intro on how to set up basic floor plans. What we'll be doing in the next video is looking at how to work into these floor plans and turn them into architectural drawings. Thank you for watching.